welcome to another Unfiltered Gamer live stream playthrough. Tonight we are playing Dungeon Doors by Dynamic Gorilla. It is a 1 versus 2 to 5 dungeon delving card game for 3 to 6 players ages 13 and up. It takes around 20 to 40 minutes to play. And we have all already chosen characters, the five of us, who will be going against the door master, uh, Josh, over in the corner. So throughout the game, we'll be opening dungeon doors, attempting to find the exit. We'll encounter, hopefully, treasure rooms, we hope, <laughs> but also <laughs> obstacles and creatures that we will need to use our abilities to defeat, work together, collect item cards, and find that exit. We'll be going through different dungeon floors, and we can go back to previous floors with unopened doors, but we'll have to go through certain obstacle rooms first sometimes. So it's kind of a, a sort of press your luck. Like, do you want to go to the next floor and miss not opening that door, but that door could be bad stuff. Eventually, the dungeon master, the door master, will have to give us some good treasure cards, all right? And those may be ahead, oh or... They may be hidden behind us, as well as, of course, the exit cards are what we're really looking for. So here we'll go to the top down and we'll get started, show you how to play. All right, here's the top down view of the game. We do have the mat, which is an additional component we've added to the game. So this is our dungeon mat here, and it'll mark out all the floor cards here. One, two, three, as well as previous floors. We have some treasure cards we'll be trying to get, as well as some other cards that may or may not pop up. We each have a map with our character cards and spaces for our weapon, armor, and item. We can only have one of each type of treasure card. Josh, our door master, has selected the first three doors to go on the first floor there. There we go. All one, right. two, three. Okay. I'm going to be nice. So I know he probably didn't put an exit here. Um, probably put some nasty stuff, but mm -hmm. I'll yeah. go ahead and go here just for fun. <laughs> Maybe they put a treasure room somewhere in here, so I'll no, go flip didn't. over one of them. Uh. <laughs> it's an obstacle room. Oh, All no. heroes are going to roll. The floor is lava, melting debris, uh, <laughs> barely breaks the surface of a boiling lava lake, but hey, they're just uh, lower extremities. Go for it. Roll an 11 or higher, and you're nimble enough to make it across. 10 or lower, and you lose 3 health. Unlucky enough to roll a 1, and you are going to lose a treasure and four health. The party must repeat this process any time this room is entered. So and we roll a d20. a d20. Okay. Okay, so we all have our HP. We should actually have an extra 20 side die. Here's this one here? One. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to roll. I, I score a five, so I'm going to go ahead and lose a three health. Oh. So I go from a 12 to nine. I'll do my roll. I also got a five, five, so I'm going to lose an additional three health. Eight. I would like Edward from now on to use this dice. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Seven. Yeah, you get an eleven. Yeah, you get yeah, ten or eleven. So okay. yeah. three One. health. Minus three and you die. And a two. So we all lost three health. Ouch. Yeah, I think everyone should use that green I told deck. you not to go through any of those doors. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give Josh a chance, because I know how he plays. He's so he's so hyper-aggressive that he has to place the most the mean things part, possible. Yeah, well, in that case, like, why would I want to give you an exit right off the bat? Well, I mean, watch what, watch what can happen. Uh, I, was, I was being nice, because what's going to happen this next turn is we're going to make you drop... I only had one exit, and honestly, it was basically just you get out. We're going to drop three more up here, I'm sure, with Max. But we'll yeah. see. It's Max's turn now. I flipped over my room, so I'm, Max is going to go ahead and choose. You want to go through a new floor? or try one of these two rooms. Now, if we go up here, um, and we want to, we might have to backtrack if you want to ever do these two. But I doubt, he already said he only had one exit, so there's almost no reason to go through these guys here. Yeah, we'll add in our secondary floor. So go ahead and place down three, and let's see what we got. Okay. Now, when he places three down, Max is also going to have to choose one of these floors, uh, uh, one of these doors to open. Let's go with the middle dungeon door. All right, this one here is a treasure room. It's dangerless too. A mother load. Finally, a room filled with Everybody treasure and no tricks, no catch, no difficult choices. Just all, um, just wealth that can all You're be. You're welcome. Uh, all dive <laughs> in like a billionaire duck. All living heroes draw a treasure card. After this event, the room is dangerless. All right, so I'll take a treasure card and I'm going to get. A light armor. And light armor is my proficiency, too. Nice. That's so nice. Thank you, Josh. You're welcome. <laughs> Once per room, I'm going to hit the ro robe surrounds your uh, your attack in Ice Fury. They're dealing an additional 1d6 of damage after you roll your regular damage. So I'm going to get damage on top of damage. Nice. 
Max, what did you get? All right. I got myself a potion, the Mega Healing Potion. Discard after use. Allows me to restore my hero to full health. With a proficiency effect of restore one other party member to full health. If I have the proficiency. Yeah, my, my proficiency, which I do have, is I can, instead of attacking, I can create a block of ice around a hero or creature of my choosing, and the target can't attack or be attacked until next turn. You can only have one of each card type. Too, yes. So. All right. You'll have to trade, I think. Oh, is yours armor? Uh, no, it is a potion set. Can yeah, I use one. the item right as I get it? Um, yes. So it says on item, treasure card. Heroes can immediately gain use the effect stated on the card. Yeah. I will yep. use my use my card to use regain the, my okay. hit die to put me back at 12. Let's hide it. All right. <laughs> I got some booze, which will allow me to heal later. Man, okay. I need that. Right. <laughs> what did you get? Acts of Severance, <laughs> sever a limb, split the spine, or go for gold with a traditional decapitation. Nice. Your hero gains plus two attack. Nice. You guys got the ones that would help my guy. <laughs> I got a uh, dagger. Your hero has plus one to initiative and plus one attack. Oh, we can? Yeah. So now we're, we're done with this room, right? Yes. We can we trade, trade right? item. Yeah, at this point. I'm keeping mine. I'm it. proficient with it, so I can either do double the tax or I can, instead of attacking, block somebody. My proficiencies are axes and booze, so okay. Caleb mm -hmm. and Callie. Um, I'll trade you if you want. Okay. The booze. Okay. And then it's Caleb's turn, correct? Yep. All right. Do you, do you want me to give, give you a new floor, or do you, want, do you want to go through one of these two here? Would there be any benefit of starting a new floor? If you don't think there's anything else good in this floor, then probably. I'll stay on the current floor, then. Uh, he just he just shook his head. Maybe you don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Trust we gotta follow Caleb. the party leader. <laughs> Caleb, go for it. A new floor, then. Alright, three new cards. The only, the only <laughs> thing we have going for us is what did he put down? <laughs> And he's going to try to do his best not to put an exit down, I can tell you that. <sighs> Draw new cards. All right, now you have to choose one of those three doors. Mm -hmm. and if we ever go up more, these are going to go down to here. Okay. I'll flip over this one. All right, let's see what you get. You got a party leader's choice treasure room. Ooh. Need or greed. <laughs> uh, the sickly ghost of a fallen dungeon delver is um, all, all like here. I've got the goods as his translucent face uh, sags off a bit. The party leader describes decides if every living hero takes one treasure card or heals to full health. Must be the same decision for all members. If the party leader makes an unpopular choice then the rest of the game may be a bit tense and awkward. After the event, the room is dangerous. <laughs> we can't tell him what to do. He has to choose. Would you like to heal everybody to full or would you like to give all of us an extra item? Extra item. Okay. Nice. So we all draw an extra item card. And I'm going to get a uh, plate mail. Yes. <laughs> so I've got two armors. Do so I have to get rid of this instantly or no? Uh, no, we can trade now that we're done with the room. Okay. All does right. anybody need heavy armor? Uh, I've got myself hemp Would you like to have uh, something? This is the proficiency for this is while well, all crypt armor has no negative effects to your attack rolls. Okay. Sure. It's probably going to help you. I don't need that. Well, I got something that's very good for us. The hemp and rope, but the item effect is you can pass the current obstacle room if it can be passed. Proficiency on this is everybody can use it. So, that's a nice one. Mine just does a d20 of damage to a creature. And if I have proficiency, it damages all creatures in the room. Ooh. I have a shield, but you can't equip the weapon while holding the shield. You don't have to. Do you want this? Uh, I'm not proficient in shield, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use it. You only have one okay. potion, though, you have slot, right? Yeah. So, and I already have a potion. Alicia already has a potion. Mm -hmm. And Caleb doesn't trade. want to trade you, <laughs> so the only person to trade with is Callie. Yep. Good choice. <laughs> I have Whip of Devotion. When you hit, instead of dealing damage, you can choose to stun the enemy, causing them to skip their next turn. Only works once per room. Oh, what does your plate mail do? Because you get a you get the proficiency and this, right? Okay. Minus two. So I have this proficiency. Do you want to trade? Minus two. Minus two to all creature damage sure. taken. Minus one okay. to all your attack rolls. Thanks. So two less damage from creatures and one less to attack rolls. And when it's equipped, armor has no negative effects to your attack. Okay, so it's just minus two to all your damage from creatures. That's amazing. 
Okay. Uh, great, great room. Uh, next up is Alicia. I can't be the party leader. Okay, so next up is Callie. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we are going to go through this door. Right? We can skip that one. Sure. Okay. Yeah. It's a gassy dragon. Uh, this one here is when you're not sure what this dragon ate. You're not sure what it ate last, but it was vile. On top of trying to kill this beast, you have to work pretty damn hard to keep your own lunch down. Every time it's the dragon's turn, all heroes must roll 11 or higher or lose a health from the release of gaseous air. Dragons are immune to this. You never take damage from gaseous air. Yeah. It's really nice. It's got plus zero, plus one, Friendly 40 HP, really and 14 <laughs> defense. Wait, actually, so I have a question. When we were in that obstacle room do we add the attack to the dice to the die no that's for combat no yeah. oh, okay. only combat. Not fighting anything. Okay. Good combat okay so there's no way of getting away from this guy is there he's pretty scary so I, I don't know the is, rules but maybe we have an equipment or something when like a well, creature is revealed you're immediately engaged in combat right is there an okay. item that can help us get rid of we this or no do you have that hempen rope which can allow us to bypass that's an obstacle oh, oh, that's an obstacle. obstacle yeah that's okay only one that's only me yeah <laughs> yeah um, all right, so engaged in combat, so so it's going to be initiative, right? We're all going to yeah, roll. So everyone, including our doormaster, will roll a uh, d20. d20 for yeah. initiative. Seven. Seven. I've got a fifteen. Seventeen. What are we going to need for dice? Nineteen. Oh. Mm, six. And eight. eight. Plus one is nine. So the first... Uh, and then you had your plus, players, right? Yeah. Which is green. Okay. No, green Green is attack. Oh, what's, so what's, the, what's the initiative number? My initiative is just on my weapon. Oh, okay. Extra initiative. okay. Which one is initiative? It's, all, it's, it's not... I don't think it is. No, because this is attack modifier, damage modifier, health point, armor class, or health point. You mean hit point modifier, right? Hit, then damage, then health? Attack... And then damage modifier. Okay. So attack you add to your D twenty damage which modifier. Which determines if you, you can hit or not. D6. Yeah. Which yeah. determines so like, if you can hit. Yeah, so it's like D and D yeah. rules. Yes. Yeah. You got to figure out if you hit, and then when you do hit, then figure out. Then damage. you do your damage. Yep. Okay. Correct. So Caleb is going first. Yep. With the initiative, and then it'll go clockwise. Yep. So, so what am I doing? You're fighting the ghastly so, yep. dragon. So you're gonna roll a D twenty. <laughs> To see if you hit, and his defense is mm -hmm. 14, so you need, um, so you have you, a, and you have a plus one, so you need yeah. a 13. One, one quick thing, on your turn, if you don't want to attack, you can choose to use a heroic ability or activate an effect on the treasure card, but that's going to be one less attack we'll have on the... On the dragon. You don't have to play, you don't have to worry about any of that, so okay. I just say attack. Okay. Seven. Oh. That's not enough. Add your attack modifier. It's plus one. Still okay, not. not yeah. Enough. Yeah. Every time it, it's the dragon's turn, all heroes must roll in love. Okay. So every every turn of his. So now it's Alicia's turn. Nine plus eight. 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 Yep. Now you're going to roll the six-sided die to see how much damage you inflict. And then you'll have your modifier of plus one. Four damage. Okay. So I am down to On a successful 36. hit, you damage all creatures in the room. It's the only one. No, wrong. that's per... Oh, you have proficiency? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's the only wrong though. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Um... Okay, I can sacrifice health to add to my roll. I don't have a lot. <laughs> I would save that sacrifice for being more a pinch. <laughs> 13, 13 plus? Minus 1 plus 1, so 13. Not enough. You need 14. Nope. Okay. Swing and a miss. All right, Michael. No, nope. me. It's the dragon. The dragon. Uh, guest, everybody first. Everybody takes the damage except for Caleb. Just take one. Yep. No, you have to roll. Oh, oh roll. sorry. Roll, roll an 11 or higher. So if you get a 10 or less, you lose a health. Oh, oh that health. was so close. Yeah. You're good. We're, we're rolling Yeah, you need to roll D20. You're Fine. good. She's good. And then Callie. Maybe get some more T20s. Yeah, they're yeah. maybe over there. There's a whole bunch of No, there's no, not a lot I was of looking. Oh. Yeah. Right. I'm, cool. I'm digging to get some. 18, I'm good. Okay. And the dragon's okay. still going to attack, right? 
Do I choose who to attack, or is it just... Yeah, you. it's the same thing. You have to roll a d20. Yeah, you choose one of us to hit. I have a defense of 12. Yeah, actually there's uh, five of you, so one, two, three, four, five, and so on and up. You can choose, though, so you okay. can choose yeah, the weakest yeah. one. Six, Caleb. seven, Caleb, all right. Okay. And I'll roll for hitting, and you need to have... Roll. He has an 11 defense. Yep. Just a d20? Yep. Yep. One. That ain't it. Nope. That's a critical <laughs> miss. All right. <laughs> oh, you got up to look, so. All right, I'm gonna try and hit you. I need a 14. Yeah. Oh, I don't have to. I don't have to roll to hit. I do okay. an instant infallible the punch. punch. Yeah. I don't even have to roll. Um, I'm, I'm do, to my next So I'm turn. doing my heroic, um, mm -hmm. causing them to take 1d6 of damage and skip. Does that mean you can just keep doing that? And I don't you get can a turn. knock a creature since it's causing them to take one d six damage and to skip their next turn. Oh, so that nice. means I can just literally sit here and do nothing while you like. So you me. take two damage. Okay. Do you have any damage modifier? Once per room on a hit, the ro robe surrounds your icy attack and icy fury, doing an additional one d six of damage after your regular attack roll. Oh, this is not my not regular, regular attack, attack roll. Though. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's, is it the next turn during this round when he already went? Or so is like, it yeah, just no, the so next? not going to move again. Generally the next turn. Oh, we just keep going around circles, turn, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, a creature or hero is no. dead when their health reaches zero. If a hero dies, whether in combat or via some other terrible accident, no other hero has the ability to bring them back to life, they drift to the whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I'm your yeah. So I have a, hero, a heroic ability that says... That I can tap into the fabric of time, reversing it enough to allow the group to back out of the current room. The room becomes unopened and everything inside resets. We can escape this room if we choose. Uh, Your call. We've already got. Wait, did you take Michael's damage? Yeah. Yeah, okay. already got it. Okay. So we can reset, day. we can get out of here if we choose, or we can just destroy this dragon. What'd you guys think? Well, I thought Mike basically uh, just set up a thing where I'm not going to get any turns. So why would you want to leave? I'm just, I'm giving an option. <laughs> but I will hold my turn to store a point into my book of fireballs, allowing me to do more damage the longer I hold it. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead, Caleb. Okay. I need to roll away. Either. Every time it is the dragon's turn, so you're still gonna be taking, you know, the dice roll effects from the gas, but I won't actually get a chance to do anything. You're gonna roll to see if you can, if your attack's going to hit. So that's gonna be a d20 plus any modifiers on the green one, the attack one. 19. You're good. Yeah, you're yeah, good. So, you're so good. what's your damage dice? Or how much damage do you do? Um. So the yellow one. The yellow one is yeah. plus one. Do you have any other on your other item? On my other items, it tells me... It would be the damage and then the little yellow mm, flame. Michael already used something like okay. that, so you don't need to do that. Uh, then you just you roll and add one. Okay. Minus two to all creature damage taken. Minus one to all of your attack rolls. Is there any cost to using my heroic ability, or I can just use it every turn? It's a, kind of instead of an attack, you can. Oh, the c attack. The cost is your star. Oh, you have to use a star. Okay. Yeah. That makes uh, more sense. Okay. Yeah. So I'm at two there. Okay. I have eight health. Yeah. How many stars do you want to use on my character? Here, Callie, roll that. Roll the dice you have. Use these for your health. Is there countdown die? All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Four. So he's dead. Uh, plus one. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's got a total of 40 uh, health 30. minus... Yeah, is it still 30. 30. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Next, no, let's keep going. Keep, 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 keep rolling. Come on. Six. No good. Plus nope. whatever is probably not enough. You can keep this there. 19. 19 definitely yeah. is. Okay. And then I roll... Really? D6. Grab some more D6s. Yeah, there's um, tons Let's go. Yeah. I'm, gonna I'm sitting here grabbing one die. Sacrifice two health. Uh, to give me yeah. plus two to my roll. Okay. Four Sorry. damage. Okay. Twenty-six. All right. He skips his next turn. It's my turn now. Do I? Yeah. No. I, okay. I'm dungeon master, and I do rulings, so I don't get an action. But it says every time it is the dragon's turn, 
You skip it. You skip your you turn. You skip your next turn. Yeah, you don't get it. You have Cali's okay. turn, now it's my turn. Should I make him skip another turn or no? No, oh, it'll lock him down. Whatever you want. <laughs> I'm asking. He has to start, I'm asking. But... What do you think? I think that's very helpful. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I, only have, I can only do it one more time after this. Yeah. All right, and I get to just straight up do damage to you. I'm going to do five damage. Okay. All right, how much health has the dragon got right now? 21. 21? Right. I will hold my action to give myself another die. Go ahead, Caleb. Nope. Oh. Five. Fourteen. Yep. Solid. Yeah. Plus, what's your plus? Th- plus three or something like that? Two? Yeah, plus yeah, five. Yeah, good to go. Plus five. Okay, yeah. Good. How's it going, Kasuku? Roll the five. Plus, <laughs> nice. Any other modifiers? Plus one. Plus one. Six. Mm-hmm. Six. Okay, so I'm at fifteen. Oh, I can attack twice, too. <laughs> oh, as a heroic ability? Yeah. yeah. Remember, you have to spend an extra. You have to spend one of your you stars, spend then. spend a star. Yeah. Oh. Should I? He's gonna skip his turn. No, uh, yeah, he will skip his, his turn. And he then pass. Max yeah. has a fireball he's building yeah. up. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make a mask for Five. Five. I have no day. Alright, so Josh skips his turn. This is the last time I'm doing it. I'm not gonna use yeah, this again. Don't do so it. Uh-huh. I'm just gonna go ahead and swing for an, uh, an attack, uh, which is. I, need, I got a plus two on this, and I need a 14. That's gonna be a nine. Plus two is 12. That's or 11, which is not enough. Alright. So we're gonna miss. I'm going to unleash my fireball of a 3d6. And when I use my skill, I automatically hit, so Josh is going to be taking 14 14. points. Down to one. Down to one. Does your book go away? Nope. Oh, he has to charge it, though. Instead of it rolling to attack, release some fireballs that can't miss. Deal D6. Can only be used once per room. Only be used once per... Okay, so you only use this once. Mm -hmm. Which is why I... In your, okay, that's, can, that's powerful. Unleash. Wonderful. Okay, so he needs one more point of damage. All right, roll your die. All right, Caleb. Uh, you got a dice for free off of it? 17. I can, nice. instead of rolling for an attack, <laughs> yeah. need to roll I can one. charge. <laughs> <laughs> so how many, you only charge it twice then? And the third, Yay. on Yay. my third turn, I attacked. Yeah. So you get a dice for free then? Yes. Okay. Every that's turn you get the dice. Yeah, he can, he can, he can use it once yeah. uh, as a d6. So yeah, you're taking five. Yeah. The dragon is defeated. Okay. Yay. Yay. Does that go away? I mean, it goes to the discard pile, I guess. Oh. I don't know if it goes to the discard pile or not. I think it does. Uh, um, how's it going, Shane? Next, next play. Okay, so Callie, well, you're the one that opened that door, right? Yes. So yeah, here so we go. It's my Michael turn. Is the can I? I can. Ma- I can make the next door, the next, the next place come up, right? Yeah. yeah. So I take these guys like this, correct? Put them over so you're here. Go to the next floor. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the next okay. floor. Can make more floors. Okay. And then put three and then these kind of travel up as previous. Ones. I mean, people can still go to this one after we do uh, after we do these. To see if the dragon stays. Uh, oh, I'm sure it doesn't. I'm sure it dies. Well, then is it just an empty space? Uh, I think so. Can't imagine having to fight it fight it again. Oh, dragon! Do we get any treasure? Or anything? Dragonborn are immune to this. I'm a dragonborn. I mean, the gas. Uh, yeah, so I didn't take that damage. A nine. Uh, it just says a creature or hero is dead when their health reaches zero. It doesn't say what to do with the creature card. Yeah, if it's dead, I imagine it goes away. All right. No, no treasure card for you. Just kidding. <laughs> Why am I going to do treasure? <laughs> a hero's oh, nice. choice treasure room. Yay! <laughs> I see a treasure on top of a pedestal. Yes, it's tempting, but you've seen enough heist flicks to know that there's a catch. Starting with the party leader, each player may attempt to grab the treasure. The first player to roll 11 or higher gets a treasure. Roll 10 or lower and take a dart in the torso from a hidden wall panel. Lose 3 health. Roll a 1 and the treasure is destroyed and everyone loses 4 health. <laughs> After this event, the room is dangerless. Okay, so I need to roll... So I need 11 up gives me treasure, otherwise I take 3. Or potentially Ooh. the group. Yeah. Eleven. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yay, get the treasure. Now I'm gonna get heavy armor. It's snail mail. Uh, upon death, the player rolls a d6 and resurrects with that much HP. The snail mail disintegrates after that and regenerates the res- uh, disintegrates after resurrecting the player. And if I am proficient, I have uh, I can heal one health for every time a new room is entered. Wow, that's amazing. One health. Uh, does anybody have? Um, I don't have armor. No, but. My oh, well, armor. We'll, we'll hold this though. It's now it's Max needs to roll. All right. How are you holding 20. it? Twenty. 
All right. Oh, it doesn't stop when someone gets a treasure. Um, no, it's oh, only one treasure. Is it only one treasure? No, if have, you get a chance to get the treasure. Oh, if you get it, oh, that's okay, it. okay, okay. That's Man, a, that's a that's a waste. So I'm gonna go ahead and 20. give this to which who wants this? Oh, it's armor. Is it? You both don't have armor. Uh-uh. How much health do you have, Alicia? Nine. How much Nine. do you have? <laughs> mm, give it to Callie. Does anybody, can, is anybody proficiency with a heavy armor? I have no light armor. No, I don't have proficiency in armor, but I can regain she has a health. health. They heal. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, okay. All right, that was great. I'm done. All right, so my turn. Let's go to the dungeon door in the middle of the top. All right, what is this? It's all heroes roll. It's a trap! No! The title here uh, really gives the game away. It's a trap, and you totally sprung it, and there's not one thing you can do about it. Ha, gotcha. All players roll a d20 and lose health equal to that roll. If anyone is alive, they may exit the dungeon. If a rogue is in the party, no health is lost, and everyone exits. You You can't retreat from the trap. It's already sprung, and this is an exit. Is, is there... exit everybody has to get out, don't they? Um, uh, so what happens if some of you get out and some of you don't? The this, heroes win by finding an exit and successfully completing its challenge. Yeah, all Where players roll out? a d20 okay. and lose health equal to that roll. If anyone's alive, they may exit the dungeon. If a rogue is in the party, no health is no, lost. So that's and exits. Is there any rogue? No. No. Dang. Okay, so we all need to roll. And if one person dies, we lose, though, What's right? What's a rogue? The type class. of uh, class. Yeah. So barbarian, 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 warlock, three damage, yeah. three three health. So if I if I roll higher than a nine, I I die. Yes. <laughs> um, me too. You, and you Kelly, heal what's yourself. your health? Can I heal 12? myself first? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you can play your those yeah, cards whenever you want. I only have nine only health. Only have the max though, right? Yeah, okay, correct. I yeah. can regain one d six health. Yeah, you might as well. Wait, you 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 get what the proficiency. Oh, I know. no, that's damage. And okay. cause damage. Three. No. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to try. Well, I might die. Actually, we'll, we'll save me for last, I think. What do you okay. have health do you have? Twelve. We, we killed the dragon. Sorry, I gained two health when something died. So roll, roll for you. Work. You need to go Ooh. less than a twelve. Okay. <laughs> nineteen. Oh, no. Dead. <laughs> uh, minus, I know, nineteen minus two. Oh, that's from con- creature damage. Combat. It's yeah, creature damage. It's not yeah. going to help. <laughs> You're going to take nineteen damage. And that's when one death. player dies, we lose, right? Uh, oh, no, they they lose. Oh, they lose. Oh, okay. Everybody. So we we were saying who wins then. Yeah. We right. lost Caleb. <laughs> Caleb, you're out. <laughs> oh jeez. Ten, Ten damage. Oh. <laughs> lives. We're two. Callie. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I have eleven health. Good thing I. You're Twelve. Dead. Oh no. <laughs> but I can roll a d6 and resurrect. Wow, you're so. I should have kept Thank that for you. myself. Can, can you do that because yeah, of the. Uh, yeah. No yeah. proficiency? Okay. Yeah. That's, her, that's, that's her. That's her main. That's, that's her, the main. That's armor her main. Oh, okay. Yeah. If I gave you that and you survived, I'm going to die. I'm going to be so <laughs> sad. And then this is gone. 11. Like that, dead. Oh, no. I, I died. No. Max. <laughs> I already be rolled. The light armor. I rolled first. I, I'm at nine. Okay. So the winners are Callie, Alicia, and Max. Yeah. All right. Cheers for being dead. Oh. <laughs> Unless you were fucked by that advice. Oh, we win. That was Dungeon Door. Thank you guys so much for playing. I'm sorry, Caleb. We couldn't save you. We couldn't resurrect you and bring you with us. But what do you think, Alicia? It's a fun game. Um, yeah, it's kind of scary going through like random cards because... You never know what you'll find, and we never got treasure the last two rounds. The first so. game we got, I a literally didn't even have yeah. any treasure cards to give you. Oh. So, Couldn't yeah, there were no nice options. To us. <laughs> What'd you think, Caleb? <laughs> it was a fun game. Yeah. Uh, I think it definitely depends on how generous the DM is. So. <laughs> also, it a little depends on the luck of the draw and what he can actually draw from the dungeon doors themselves. And Kelly, what do you think? 
I, I like it a lot. There's um, just a lot going on with the different roles and your different characters. Each character does feel different, which is nice. And we could all work together and contribute. There's a lot of random elements to it, but it's a short game. You can just play again and, and uh, see what happens next time. Nice. Uh, linked in the pinned comment. And if you're watching on YouTube, it's linked in the description down below. Uh, explain that we're doing we're doing a giveaway for next week, the beginning of next week. If you're on the Patreon for the one dollar tier, we're gonna pull a ball out. We'll have one of your balls. Explain that. Uh, for okay, next week. okay. So for the giveaway, make sure that you comment. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube as well, right? Yes. Leave a comment below. Uh, and we'll... But yes, for Patreon only for the, the giveaway oh. for this one here. Okay, Patreon this, only. This thing here, basically for a dollar a month, we put one of your names, your name goes in the ball here, we spin it, we pull one out at the beginning of next stream, and that person is going to win a board game. So straight up, right, just straight like this. Up. Not just win a, a board spin. game, not just yeah. a chance at a board game, but a board Somebody's game. Somebody's getting one. <laughs> but you gotta be a patron. That's yeah. this one here. Otherwise, if you comment, liked, and shared, et cetera, then, et cetera, then, then you have we'll a chance of winning win. on a spin at the beginning of next week. Yeah. So enter for a chance to win on the spinny wheel, commenting, liking, sharing during the live stream or the YouTube video. Uh, and if you have, let us know how you think we did <laughs> through Dungeon Door. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you guys so much. And uh, we'll kick it off here. Or, okay. okay, okay, all right. It's a good evening for playing games. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, Make sure to check out our channel, Unfiltered uh, Gamer, and like and subscribe and all of that, as well as our website, unfilteredgamer.com. You can see lots of other reviews and videos, as well as giveaways. And uh, that's about it. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we look forward to seeing you guys next time. time. Yeah, I rolled an 18, so I'm avoiding it. Kind of oh. Roll again. Oh, Caleb oh, instantly dies. Yeah. Oh, you're dead. Yep. I get. Wow. Fine.